All right. Good evening. Uh, my name is Gopal, uh, and I will be talking about uh, compressing uh, deep learning models so that you can build mobile apps or IoT applications uh, if you have a very low memory system. So, uh, can I assume that uh, at least uh, some of you have a deep learning uh, background, or most of you have deep learning background? Uh, okay. So th then, let me. Uh, I have to uh, little bit uh, introduce about deep learning. So, so deep learning. Uh, is a kind of a trending or buzzword these days, right? So, it is just nothing but uh, what I say a series of computations uh, like filtering, you know, image processing, image filter, and all. So, it is a series of uh, those kind of uh, uh, computations, and end of the day, uh, end of end of the network, you have either classification or detection of faces or objects, any general objects. So, that is basically. Uh, deep learning that is required for this talk that is it you can consider as a series of computations uh, for uh, image processing or computer vision application like uh, detecting uh, person uh, de detecting car self driving all this stuff okay and typically uh, uh, the process is you you collect the data say you want to detect a car you collect millions of images of car and then you have to train a network deep learning network on that and at the at the end of training, so you will have a trained model. So, the filters are trained to detect the car okay? and that model size that we after training I call it as a model which is a parameter, so a series bunch of numbers and that ranges from a few hundred megabytes to like a gigabyte, so depending upon your complexity of the deep learning network. So, uh, if you have to build such application on a very low power, low power, low end device, so you cannot you cannot afford to have few megabytes, few hundred megabytes of uh, model stored on your SD card. You'll be simply wasting space on the SD card, for example, right? So, this talk about uh, is about how to reduce this uh, uh, deep learning model size to fit into SD card, so or a mobile application. So, you don't have to uh, have an application with uh, 250 megabytes. Downloading, so nobody is going to download that, right? So uh, yeah, hopefully uh, this will uh, help you uh, to build such applications, computer vision applications on low-end devices. So outline is, uh, I will just. Uh, this is very superficial uh, in this particular uh, uh, topic. Uh, it's actually a, a, a active research area. Okay. Uh, I'll talk about uh, IOTs and challenges and popular network how to reduce this uh, deep learning model into a smaller size and how to use low precision and I have a case study of detecting uh, objects like faces or human body and then I will show you the demo. So, demo uh, is on this PC and I, I do not know how to, how to yes, okay. So, uh, as I introduce deep networks which require high memory right, high uh, SD card storage that is storage and also when you load that into your RAM, so that requires that same amount of uh, RAM space. Okay? So, and also very computationally intensive, so it requires lot of CPU cycles, so you need uh, very GPUs normally uh, to compute this kind of uh, uh, output of this kind of networks and large model size as I said few hundred megabytes, uh, so you have to have that much uh, NOR flash or NAND flash on the board okay and uh, so fortunately so you can do some kind of tricks to this deep network to reduce the size and still it will be as accurate as the normal floating point uh, when you are using the floating point computations okay and we all know that uh, this is challenge when it comes to iot's or mobile uh, soc platforms so uh, i will just go through how to reduce the uh, model size okay uh, just to give a brief uh, overview on state of the art research in this field, actually uh, the reducing this model size falls into three categories. One is at the algorithm level, you reduce the network size. You do not see if, if my particular deep learning network has hundreds of layers, you reduce the number of layers, okay? number of stacks layers and that is at the algorithm level. And then you train your network on your data, and then you have your your deep learning model ready. And the second thing is network compression, which say you have a model which is already trained, 
you can take out certain connections inside the network so that you can drop out all those computations all those parameters of the model so this is after training so this is called uh, compression okay and the th third one is uh, uh, quantization so you have a model you have all parameters in 32 bit numbers and you can quantize this to lower uh, lower number of bits so it's low precision networks and even one bits which is called binary networks you can have all the parameters with just one bit either 0 or 1 so uh, in this talk i will just focus on uh, this particular part and actually it's a subset of this particular topic how to re reduce uh, how to represent a uh, model from 32 bit to 16 bit okay. yeah uh, i'll i just have di divided this into three levels so this is your uh, pc where you have gpus to train the the deep learning model and you have a data millions of images stored here and you do the training and after training you convert this uh, model which is a parameters into a very low precision uh, 16 bit or 8 bit and you create a, a build a application out of it so that goes into your mobile storage sd card right so when you are you going to run the application you are going to load that as it is on the on the system memory but before loading that you will convert back to floating point so that means so model size is low there because it is a low precision model on the sd card so when you load it to ram it's going to occupy the same amount of memory because before this stage okay. so that is that is 32 bit and then you do normal floating point computations so there is there will not be any uh, reduction in the accuracy okay so the advantage is you just save the sd card space so you have a 30 30 bit numbers here say the model size is 100 megabytes you convert it to 16 bit your model size will be 50 megabytes so you store you save that much amount of storage on your uh, end device and the level 2 is so you do the same thing and instead of loading converting into floating point and loading into memory you just load as it is low precision model and when you are computing computing on uh, when you are processing image to detect some objects in that image you on the fly you, you convert into float so so that that will add on to your uh, application runtime because you have to convert again and again each each image you process you have to convert again but still uh, you are going to save both uh, sd card space and the uh, ram space the level 3 is we have low precision model in the sd card low precision model in the ram and the computations are also low precision so you don't need a floating point hardware floating point cpu to uh, run the application so you can use low precision 16 bit or 8 bit or even lesser uh, comp uh, arithmetic operations using your fixed point cpu so Norm normally most of the dsps are fixed point you cannot yeah. so uh, that is uh, the level 3 so we have and when you use low precision arithmetic your appli application is also going to speed up normally so that is the uh, uh, another advantage all this can happen uh, without losing final detection accuracy of the algorithm okay so i will i'll show you a demo but uh, currently uh, I I started this project two two weeks back, so the so development process is only here only till level one. So my plan is to take this to lower uh, more levels so that we have we will save memory and save CPU uh, time as well. Yeah, I, I will finish. Uh, yeah, so as a case study. Uh, this is object detection uh, deep learning network which is called YOLO and a very lightweight version of uh, the same thing is called tiny YOLO. So after training it takes 64 megabytes is the model size all the parameters and it has 7 billion uh, operations floating point operations. Uh, this one uh, you can just ignore if you are not very familiar with uh, object detection but the key thing is this is the original model accuracy algorithm accuracy using the original floating point model 
now that is the 16 bit model. So, you do, I do not think you can notice a difference. So, it is almost as accurate as uh, the floating point model. So, that is the key point here. So, then uh, I wanted to show a PC demo, but unfortunately, uh, I, can, I can still hopefully show. <coughs> yeah. Uh, okay, uh, I do not know if you can see or not, but uh, this is a 64 bit model, you can see 63.5 um, megabytes and this is a, a 16 bit model uh, which is 31.7 megabytes, it is almost half, half, half of the more size. So, I have application running, let me check, yeah, okay. Let me just configure. How much did I do? Okay, four minutes. More than that. Mm -hmm. Or you can speak it in the memory. Yes, of course. <laughs> okay, just let me uh, switch to original floating point model and compile it. Okay, all right. Uh, this is a model trained on to train to detect 20 objects like a uh, person uh, right. uh, a person a uh, chair or bird or horses all this stuff uh, and then so this this is the original model running uh, here now i i will uh, i'll just compile for sorry i don't have a very good ui because just for quick demo. Uh, okay. That's why he's using Kevin's laptop. Okay. He tried, right? Okay, all right. So this is one is using a sixteen bit model. Hopefully it will detect all of you. All right. Nice. So uh, actually, uh, if if the application is not uh, very sec uh, critical, so you can use this kind of tricks to reduce the model size. Mm. So if it if the application doesn't detect you sometimes, there is nothing nothing is going to happen, right? Okay. Nothing is going to crash or something <laughs> like that. So as long as application is like a it's a, a normal entertainment case or it's not like a. So <laughs> <laughs> uh, You're trying to. I don't think I don't think model is trained uh, for that kind of objects, but <laughs> maybe bottles and all it can detect, uh, and dogs and horses or this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Any questions? Are you using a GPU for this? Uh, this is running on uh, my uh, laptop C GPU uh, GetForce 920M. Uh, yes. But that's for trading or that's for? Uh, this is for inference. Final testing. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you are using the GPU even for? Yeah, yeah currently. So yeah, you because load, you load the NVIDIA drivers onto your Ubuntu. Right? Yes, yes. This one is using a uh, graphics card and running around eight frames per second. <laughs> so very. I, I told you seven billion operations. So if you just run with uh, using CPU, it may run at one frames per second. Oh, it may. When you install <coughs> NVIDIA drivers, your HDMI is sometimes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I that. oh, okay. Thank you. Maybe VGA wi will be uh, better. Okay. Ah, okay. Because I haven't used this laptop to uh, uh, project anytime, so it's my personal laptop. So, yeah. Any other questions, please? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I have a, this ongoing project. If any of you are interested, you can just go to this. A GitHub and uh, you can contribute if you are interested because I, I plan to extend this for uh, level 2 and level 3. <coughs>